Hi, um, I wanted to share another nail deal. I'm kind of just been playing around a lot with nails. Um, I tried this candy cane deal that I kind of I saw um, another fellow YouTube guru. Her name is Julie. I'm actually gonna make this a response video to her candy cane nails. I started off using this is Savvy's. Um, uh, I'm sorry, French Sheer White Nail Polish, but you're better off getting a solid white. That'll do better because I had to put like three coats on for it to show up, so don't go get that one. Just get the white. And I have my new, my new little nail polishes, LA Colors. They were only $2, and they have a super thin brush why I like them. I went out and got like 10 of these. No kidding. So basically I'm just gonna use this little one. This is a matte red. And then I'm gonna go let's see. Let's start up here and make that a thick one. And then a thin one. And seriously, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And then just paint the lines across. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think it has to be perfect. I can't make lines perfectly, so maybe that's why I'm saying it. Because I can't do it. But, you know what? I like it like this. Basically, you just make lines all the way down. There. And I'll do the other one. Let me start here this time. And don't worry, I'm left handed. So, that's the only reason why I'm showing it on my right hand. Because my left fingers, they came out kind of not as precise as the right hand. So don't feel bad. So just take your time with the lines. Like I said, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Because I do not have the most steady hands here. Okay, so that's that for the matte red. This one is actually called just red. And I got that from Nigel's Beauty Supply in North Hollywood or Valley Village. Now I'm going to take the silver glitter one. Same brand. I'm going to put the silver in between the lines, the two red ones. In between. This is totally optional. You can very well just stop at the Stop at the lines and put your top coat on and be done. But I wanted, I need a little more. I wanted to take it up another notch. How about that? Silver glitter in between. And then, lastly, this part is very optional, but I'm taking red glitter, and I'm going to put it only on the thickest line. Put it over. It 
this one's thick. I'm gonna put that over. So just see what I was saying. Let's say you put the silver glitter and it kind of overlapped on the red. Well since this one's darker, this will cover up any silver that um, did get on the red. Just like that. Now, that's it. Very easy. Very simple. I think it's simple. Like I said, if I can do it, I struggle with nails all the time. I'm so not the artist when it comes to straight lines and such, so this was like a really big challenge for me. I really want to try it out, so here we go. That's it, like the candy cane. It looks, it really does look like a candy cane. I think so. And I will be going to a Christmas party in a couple of days, so very appropriate for the Christmas time. Now for a top coat, I use this um, Orly Won't Chip. Last time I wore nail polish, I used this, and it lasted for a good week and a half, and then it started to chip. So it did say it would. It's like chip resistant for two weeks. It's pretty dry. So I'm just gonna the top coat. And that's it. Top coat really makes a difference. Like with glitter. It makes it sparkle so much more. Yay! I have Christmas nails now. So, just to share. Just wanted to share. Again, I'm no nail expert. I just really like playing with nail polish. So if anyone tries it, try it out. And I'll put all the nail polish info to the side of the video. Like to the side meaning the, the video description. So check it out. Let me know if you try it. And again, all thanks to Julie G, the who inspired me for this. Alrighty, bye.